Hi, I'm Tammy Mattel, uh, curator of the Real Flow Yoga Teacher Training Program. And today in this vlog, I'd like to talk to you about uh, embarrassing, awkward, and uncomfortable situations that might happen in class. Um, so having taught over 8,000 hours of classes myself, um, you'd think it might be a straightforward event, a yoga class, but it's not always the case. You can't always rely on your class plan. And so that's what the Real Flow Yoga Ethos is about. It's about being able to flow with the moment and adapt to the circumstance using your intuition, your instincts. Um, <laughs> so here I'll share with you some of the embarrassing situations that I've encountered firsthand. Uh, so there's the uh, the classic one, number one, where um, you, the class is interrupted. Maybe at the beginning when you're sat down for meditation and everyone's like dropped down into this space of, um, you know, calm and then someone walks in stumbling around on yoga mats and uh, just like making loads of noise. Or someone leaving class early during final relaxation and being noisy. Um, so that happens. Bit uncomfortable how do you work your way around that um, and then there's things like phones going off student phone going off during relaxation and you're trying to you can't work out where the, the phone's coming from um, or even worse than that your phone going off as the teacher that is terrible um, but it happens flight mode don't forget flight mode um, <laughs> and then things like um, tripping up <laughs> When the room's busy, there's stuff everywhere, blocks, props, uh, standing, I've, I've stood on someone's glasses before, um, or like knocked over their water bottle, um, <laughs> just basic logistics around the room, um, and or what if there's like um, a really loud fire alarm outside, or um, I've even had like low flying plane, um, out, uh, low flying aircraft outside the room, just like during yoga nidra when everyone's in this deep state relaxation, and then the sound of the most startling loud noise. Um, it's just things you have to deal with in class sometimes. What else have I got on my list? Um, yeah, sometimes uh, students fart. <laughs> it happens, it's yoga. Like really loud farts or really stinky farts or front bottom farts. Um, how do you deflect attention or distract or um, normalize or, you know, ventilate the room? All these different things you have to work out what to do when you're, you know, be, work out on your feet. Oh, there's one time uh, I got, I was demonstrating a pose and I farted really loud. Embarrassing, humiliating, it happens. <sighs> All right, so then um, crying, tears, tears happen. Um, that's normal when students cry, you know, um, nothing um, out of the ordinary. But what about if you cry as the yoga teacher? Say, um, I've had times where perhaps I'm just getting so wrapped up into the, the, the moment of, whatever it is I'm sharing and the musing and <laughs> or another time like uh, if, you know if a, t a student is a particularly abrasive or something and um, <clears throat> uh, and you're just feeling particularly fragile that day and <laughs> uh, so you're pulling yourself together in that scenario or another another example of an uncomfortable situation is if a student is inappropriately dressed like they turn up in see-through leggings or they have a huge hole in the crotch of their trousers or uh, <laughs> so they have to like cleverly sequence your class to pr protect their modesty um, or there's the scenario where um, you're assisting and the room's really busy and you're multitasking and you're doing your thing and you go to um, take someone uh, a lady by the shoulder and actually that's not their shoulder it's their boob that you've taken hold of um, sorry, it's, it's, it's happened. Or you're assisting and um, someone uh, is in a standing balance and just your mere presence knocks them over. Uh, you haven't even touched them yet, uh, but they just freak out and fall over. And so that's a little bit awkward. Um, another scenario, animals. Animals in class, it happens. A random wandering dog, a random wandering cat, or a student bringing in their pet dog or children uh, 
took my toddler to yoga class once, big mistake. Uh, midway nappy change, um, that is not the one. Gross. Um, and then there are, um, um, you know, guiding a, a student that's pregnant, um, giving them extra guidelines throughout class, only to be told midway through class by the student, no, I'm not pregnant, I'm just fat. Oh my God. Okay, so embarrassing. Um, and then also injuries, um, uh, when you go in and you ask everyone in class like that question, are there any injuries? And some guy says, I have a dislocated leg. Uh, really? Okay. Or a girl turns up with a, her arm in a cast, a full cast, and she turned up for Vinyasa Flow um, class. And she's eating a sandwich with her other hand. That's these things happen, so you have to be prepared, and you never know um, what's going to happen, so you can't be prepared. And that's the beauty of um, real flow yoga, like, you know, it's um, real people, real situations, and um, getting to grips with how to adapt. Um, so uh, thanks for listening and if you have any equally awkward or embarrassing scenarios you'd like to share with me, brilliant, tell me because um, that would be great. <laughs> Alright, thanks, bye.